Hi, welcome to Mika Creates. I'm Mika, thanks for coming to my channel. Today I'm gonna to be making some Cajun um, seafood. And so basically what I did was I made a, um, let me show you here, if you can see that. I've already boiled this. And what we've got is some clams, some corn, so not, this is not potato, this is um, cassava, this is yuca, and we have some crawfish, and scrimps, shrimps. We're gonna eat good. But I'm gonna make the sauce. So yes, you can make butter, add some garlic into it, and then you can have your butter and garlic sauce. That's not what I'm doing. Um, I like to add some spices. This is my Puerto Rican Cajun version of it. So bear with me here. Um, so let's begin. Let's begin. Just using my volcano. You guys know I love this thing. All right, so I'm also gonna put the ingredients in my, um, in the subscription, or in the subscription box, in the box below. So you need two cups. This is one cup. So each one of these is a cup. A lot of people use margarine. I use butter. Butter is better, baby. There's two. Now I have about three and a half pounds of seafood. Woo! See that? And Okay, so you guys know that I always have little tricks. So another one of my little tricks is I do, um, these are garlic. This is garlic. And so what I do is I buy the garlic, like the balls of garlic, and or the bulbs of garlic that's correct. And, um, and then I peel them all and then I just put them in a container in a glass container and then put it in the refrigerator. So I just wanted to show you guys that. But I did the work already. So I got two bulbs or two heads of garlic and I put it in the food processor because it's way too much to chop up and cut. You know what, I'm using my monitor. My um, I learned, I went on YouTube and I learned how to use my laptop as a monitor, and so I keep looking down instead of looking at you guys. So I apologize for that, it's gonna take me a minute. <laughs> All right, so my garlic is done. My butter's still not, it's still not melted, but that's okay. So again, this is two heads of garlic. Not two pieces of garlic, two heads. Now I think typically what people do is for every pound of seafood you have, you should probably put a, um, for every pound of seafood should be a cup of butter and a cup of garlic, or um, a head of garlic. I don't know if that's true or not, but I'm not doing that because this is more than enough butter and more than enough flavor. I want to get all that garlic. And then I'm going to put this to the side. And then once the but the garlic starts to get translucent, that's when you know it's really ready. You don't want the garlic to burn, that's for sure. Because if the garlic burns, it's going to taste bitter. You don't want the garlic to taste bitter. Mm, it smells so good. I wish we had smell TV. I know somebody's gonna invent that. I don't know how. <coughs> like you know how it's gonna turn out? You're gonna be able to punch in the ingredients. And when you punch in the ingredients, It'll give you like a smell of garlic and tomatoes, roasted onions. You know what I mean? That's what I think is going to happen. Yep. I'm not going to invent it, but that's what I think is going to happen. 
Okay, so next, I'm gonna use a half a tablespoon, or maybe a tablespoon. Let me look and see. This is a tablespoon. Yeah, that's too much. This is one teaspoon. What? I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna use one teaspoon of Old Bay seasoning. Now, I believe there's a Kroger one, and the Kroger one has the same ingredients. So, whatever you got. So, I'm going to put two of these bad boys in there. No, I'm going to put one. And then I'll taste it later. Same thing with chicken bouillon. If we have vegetable bouillon, because you're a vegetarian but you eat fish, you can use the vegetable bouillon. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Oh yeah, oh yeah. You can add pepper. I'm gonna add spice. So you can have Cajun, um, Cajun pepper, or any kind of hot pepper you want. But I have Korean pepper because I like Korean dishes. And it's super red and it gives it a beautiful color. All right, let's put this to the side. And then today I'm going to be drinking some sweet tea that I made. Ooh, I'm all southern today. Hey. <laughs> all right, I'm going to take this top off. Next ingredient is the lemon pepper. Okay, this is super important because this gives it a lot of flavor too. So I'm just going to fill that bad boy up. If I need more, I'll add more. And this is quick. This happens in a couple minutes. And then we're going to pour that sucker in. We're going to pour it in. And um, Okay, then we're going to use sazon. Now this sazon is sazon um, with culantro and achiote. So achiote are natto seeds. And um, culantro is culantro, which is, I believe, like um, a sister or brother or cousin to cilantro. I'm using two of these. Now, I told you it was Puerto Rican Cajun, right? <laughs> I know people are like, what is she doing? This is my way. This is how I do it. This is my way or the highway. Okay, this is done. Ooh, ooh, this, mmm. I need meal. Oh my gosh. Woo! It's hot. Mm. Mm. I'm going to add a little bit more Old Bay seasoning. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right, this bad boy's ready. I'm turning this off. So I'm going to let you see this. Can you see that? It's like, oh my gosh. Oh, these you see? Look at that. See that there? Mm. I have to get all this garlic because I don't like wasting. <laughs> I don't want to waste all this yummy stuff. This is so flavorful. You don't even know, you guys. All right, I'm going to pour this bad boy in here. Now, before I do that, let me move this stove out of the way. Because I want to show you guys. Do you see that? Do you see this seafood? It looks yummy. Mm hmm I want to make sure, again, I get... Ooh, some of the seasoning is sticking to the bottom. 
Let me just scrub that off. You want everything, everything. No wasting, everything. Oh. And again, you can add pepper, you can add um, chili oil, you can add more garlic. This is just how I want it. Do you hear that? All right, I'm going to put this in the sink and I'm going to be right back. All right, so what I did was mix this whole thing, mix it around, and I'm going to put it in a nicer bowl so you can see it. Oh, heavy. Ooh, that was a clam. That was a clam, y'all. Oh, do you see that? Tell me that doesn't look. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. Oh, the oatmeal. Look at all that yucca. Look at this. Okay, this is all the garlic. This is going to be my trash, my little dumper. So do you see this? I want you guys to see this really good. I'm going to eat it. All right. I think I'm also going to make a video on how to make um, sweet tea. So I went to Alabama years ago, and the lady taught me how to make sweet tea, and it's delicious. One of the key things that she said not to do, which I do all the time, is um, she said not to ever use Lipton iced tea. But that's what I use. All right, you guys, we're going to grab it. What should I start with first? Yucca. Okay, so like I said, yucca is a root. It's like, it's like good. <laughs> it has a texture of a potato, but it's a little bit sweeter. And in Puerto Rico, we use yuca a lot. In fact, when we make our pasteles, pasteles are kind of like tamales. But they're the kind of tamales that are made in the plantain wrapper. Wrapped in plantain leaves, banana leaves. Here's some crawfish. Crawfish. So I went to the Cajun Festival in Long Beach, California years ago with my friend Riley. Riley! And you're supposed to suck the head. And all the flavors in there. Mmm. These ones that I bought. I buy them at the Asian market in the frozen section, and they have they have Cajun seasoning already. They're frozen that way. So all you do is you take, flip the little backside. Whoops, that didn't work. I learned years ago, and I don't remember. But you're supposed to squeeze the little backside, and it'll just pop out. But that's not what happened right now. I'm obviously not the expert. <laughs> there it is. Mm. Now the shrimps. 
I get the scripts whole because I like the flavor of the heads. You suck the head on the shrimp too. And I got them unpeeled. Because I like to do the work, but when I do it for my family, you know, what we do is we get the ones that don't have it, don't have the shell. Because they don't like going through all this. I do. I think this is part of the journey, the adventure of eating. I want to get to the bottom because that's where all the sauce is. Mm. It's got garlic on the back of it. Mm. Mm. I'm gonna get to the bottom. I gotta get rid of some of this stuff. I'm serious. Because I should have saved some of that butter. Anyway, when I wake up for my family, we do it outside. We have um, our turkey boiler or fryer. An old fashioned one. And we boil water in there. And then we throw in a crab boil. I think it's Zach Rand. Put two of those bad boys in there. Oh, it's so good. You put two of those bad boys in there with some lemon. And you can add Cajun seasoning, Cajun seasoning to the pot. And then we let it boil real good. I don't know, this one doesn't look right. I'm throwing that away. Um, and then you let it boil real good and then you throw in your veggies or potatoes or in my case, yuca, cassava. Um, Some people put mushrooms in it. That's not me. Mm -mm. Oh, yeah, I'm eating with both hands. And, um, oh my gosh, there's so much in here. Because my husband and my son are eating too. My son's at his mama's house. I'm a stepmama. But nonetheless, I love him like he's mine. I'm going to take him forever to get down here. Mmm. A little paw. Mmm. I gotta eat this clam. He's calling my name. You see that? Oh! Oh! Mm. Oh my gosh, you guys. You guys have to make this. And then that big old pot outside. Mmm, low butter, low butter. You can't go wrong. If you have three pounds of seafood like I did today. You can do three cups. We have a lot more better. I mean, you have to, you have to suck. This is, it was crazy. It was crazy. Oh, I'm getting to it. It's all the way at the bottom. But I'm getting to it. I just wanted to be to make sure that mm, 
but you guys can see it. You can have it with French bread. I gotta eat while I'm doing this because I'm hungry. And it's nice and warm. Suck the head of the shrimp. I'm telling you, especially because you have all the seasoning and the butter. Look at that. See that? Mm. Oh Lord, this is where all the flavoring is. It's easiest to take, take the little legs off. And then it makes it easy to peel. Easier to peel. So anyway, we have big parties and we're out in the back. And I usually put about five pounds of seafood in there. And then, excuse me, depending on how many people we have, we usually make two batches. So, I don't know where it left off. My camera stopped. Um, this corn is so sweet. It has all the flavor. This is unbelievable. This is so delicious. Crawfish. Suck the head. So, all the flavor obviously is on the shell. So I'm just pulling this, and here is the crawfish. Don't make the same mistake I did. Make sure that you save some of the butter. Clams. I don't know where the shell is, but I found the clam. This is a good family dish and it's made super quick. It takes you longer to buy your ingredients than it does to actually make the dish. It sounds like it's raining outside. Weird. It is raining outside. And it's the middle of summer and it's warm outside. Kind of cool. That's not normal in Southern California. Mm. Okay, I'm going to show you this because I have to. Do you see that? You see that? Ah, oh, oh. Oh, oh. You guys have to try this at home. Hi, Familia. My camera stopped recording, so please subscribe. Thank you for watching, and if you like the video, give me a thumbs up. Otherwise, I'll see you soon. Bye. Okay, so normally we have big parties. Oh my gosh. A, a, a corn fell. Oh no. Oh my gosh. Was it not recording? Nope. It's recording no, now. No, it is. Barry's going to die though. Ooh. Corn. Oh my gosh.
Got it everywhere. It's all over the floor on this butter. All this butter, baby. All this butter. It's not appropriated.